the room transformation that got me featured in apartment therapy. Every wall in our house is textured, so I decided to skim coat it to give it a more flat texture. So I bought joint compound and I scraped it on and skimmed it off. Um, this took me about three to four hours just for one wall and it was super, super messy. I allowed it to dry for 24 hours and then I sanded it down. I then primed the entire wall and then I painted it all in pure white by Sherwin Williams. I wanted something extra funky for my accent wall, so I found Akina Millwork uh, wooden fretwork. This is their Manchester fretwork in their medium size, um, and this is the hickory color. I applied the wood panels with a brad nailer, and then I trimmed off the excess with my multi-tool. Um, this application was super, super easy. I originally tried to use liquid nails for it, and it did not work. I bought this wooden bed frame off of Amazon for about $200, maybe less, and I absolutely love it. I wanted this article headboard, but I was not going to spend $700 on it, so I decided to make it. I bought plywood, I measured it out, and I cut it to size using the measurements that were in the article headboard description. I then used a solo cup to measure out and round the corners, and I cut those with the jigsaw. I got one inch foam from Hobby Lobby and rolled it out onto the plywood. I cut it to size. You want to make sure to cut it as straight as possible. And I got some Boostlay fabric also from Hobby Lobby and then used my stapler um, to staple the fabric onto the back of the plywood. I left all the corners for last and I do recommend doing this. You're just going to kind of fold it in like a burrito, um, just like you see here and then staple. I then repeated the process twice more since I wanted three panels for my queen size headboard. And this is how the headboard turned out. I then decided to accessorize by getting a boost light bench from Polly and Bark, a new rug from Laloy, gorgeous table lamps from Polly and Bark, and super cheap linen curtains and curtain rods from Amazon. I'm seriously so happy with how it came out and I'm honestly sleeping so much better now that my room is Airbnb worthy. So follow along to see my next flip, which is a laundry room transformation.